Instagram, why do you make it so hard to love you? Hey gang, it's Raj here. I'm going to go through what I have had to do to live stream on Instagram from my desktop, from my studio setup, horizontally, the way that nature intended. Um, actually, I don't care. I, vertical's fine, but but when you're trying to do, if, especially if you're a guitar player or a keyboard player, and you've got all this horizontal side-to-side -side information when you're trying to play whatever, play that, that was, that was nice. All that information, it's difficult to do it vertically. Also, it would require an entirely different setup, and I don't want to do that. So uh, I'm also going to be jumping through possibly an extra step that you don't have to do if you just want to stream to Instagram. I'm trying to set up things to where I can inst I can uh, stream to Facebook and Instagram simultaneously without using Restream or anything else. There may be an easier way to do this, but I'm going to show you my way uh, so you can kind of tailor this to what makes sense for you. In my case, I'm going to be using two different streaming uh, platforms. I'm using Ecamm Live. That's what you're seeing right now. This is the output from, from Ecamm Live. I'm recording. I'm doing most of my streams uh, for whatever through Ecamm uh, Live. And there's a lot of things, if you're on a Mac, that I, I like about it, but it's expensive. So, uh, And then I'll be using OBS to actually do the stream specifically for Instagram. So you could do all this just in OBS. You could change uh, the the uh, all of your cameras, your cameras, your videos, all that stuff to uh, to serve the way that Instagram needs to see it, which we'll get into in a minute. But I'm going to be not doing that. I'm going to be basically uh, using virtual camera from Ecamm as a source in OBS. So we'll jump into it right now. Okay. So you have to have. Uh, I'm going to use Yellow Duck. There's a couple. I think there's uh, three or four apps that are real similar to Yellow Duck. Essentially, this is the app that allows you to use a stream key to serve your Instagram account. Um, it looks something like this once you've downloaded it. Uh, so you do have to put in your information. They say they don't keep it. Uh, every time I've opened this locally, the information's been gone, so I don't think it keeps it locally. I have no reason to distrust them. I don't have a reason to trust them. But so far... No one has taken over my Instagram account and tried to take over the world. Uh, so I will say that these two tick boxes allow commenting. That worked. Save the story, uh, save the video to story didn't work for me. So your mileage may vary. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe uh, I'm missing a step here and uh, and I can get that to save. But so far, when it's done, it's gone. But you know what? That's all right. So uh, you're gonna want to do this right before you're ready to stream to Instagram because this it, this is a this this is self self destructing it lasts for a couple minutes and then it's no good anymore so before you before you do any of that you're going to want to um, get your stuff together so for me my primary ecam I'm all together I've got these multiple cameras and whatever else going on uh, some video content that I've got ready to fire and then I'm going to open up OBS. So um, this is going to look rather funky when I open it. Well, actually, let me let me let me let me undo what I've done so that it doesn't look rather funky for y'all. Um, okay, so I'm going to head over to OBS now, right? So in OBS, I'm going to create a brand new scene. Actually, you know, let's back up. Before you do that, you're going to have to make the output from OBS vertical. So you go into settings, you go into video, and you want to, in both of these uh, video fields, change it from 1920 by 1080 to 1080 by 1920. So 1080x1920, and the same thing, 1080 to 1920. And uh, you can see now we have a vertical instead of a horizontal. Ew. Uh, so then back in our scene that we've created, we're going to choose video capture device. You can name it if you really want to. And you're going to choose uh, Ecamm Live Virtual Cam. So whatever your app is, choose the virtual cam for that app. Uh, and when it opens up, and I'm going to choose high here because OBS always makes me do that. And you'll see that that's coming in horizontally because that's the default. If you right-click on that source, 
You can go to transform and rotate 90 degrees clockwise, and Bob's your uncle. You are now uh, going to see the entire screen when you serve this to Instagram. They will turn their phone sideways, which I know is a leap of faith, but then they'll see the glory of your setup. Uh, you also need to add whatever your audio source is for your for me in, in Ecamm. I'm using Loopback as my audio source. So you need to do the same thing as the virtual cam does not carry audio. Uh, so I will use Loopback here as my audio source. And you can see now I have LED there in OBS. What I found on my setup, and this is probably going to be dependent on a whole lot of things, your computer, your the amount of RAM you have, yada, yada. Uh, but I had a bit of a delay so uh, in video. So click on the gear, advanced audio properties. I offset this by 100 milliseconds, and it got close enough for me to feel all right about it. That was just trial and error, and I had to do that in real time. There was no way for me to guess that. I don't know that if you record from OBS locally, you're going to see the same uh, delay. You might, but uh, I don't want to say that because I haven't tried it. So I just kind of, I came, I came to that number by actually streaming and monitoring on a separate account, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, okay, so now that that's going, uh, and just to show you what it would look like if I wasn't doing it the way I had to do, you'd actually see... Uh, this, this is what you ought to be saying uh, with the audio, of course, which I'm not getting right now, but uh, because I'm doing this live in Ecamm and I'm switching and yada, 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 you're seeing the picture collapse on itself. But anywho, you are now ready to go back into uh, into Yellow Duck, right? You put your information in. When you hit login and start, it will give you both the... Uh, the uh, server address and the stream key with little copy buttons so once the, that's up on the screen you go back into obs you go into settings you choose stream uh, you want to choose custom and then you will copy the server address into the server field the stream key into the stream key field uh, you need to do that with the quickness because after a couple minutes it will expire you hit okay and the moment that you hit start streaming you will be streaming into Instagram live and uh, doing so horizontally and doing so with sound. And if you have comments turned on, that will come in uh, this side, I believe this side of the screen, the wrong direction, but they'll stop about right there. So, uh, you know, that's the, that's the caveat. Um, so if you don't care if you're serving to Facebook or Twitch or YouTube and Instagram at the same time, you could do all of this in OBS. You could basically do, uh, you could have your whole, all of your assets uh, 90 degrees off, and you could just do an Instagram feed directly from OBS. Uh, I don't know if Ecamm, I'm not sure if you're able to change the, change the uh, dimensions in Ecamm or not, but in OBS, you can certainly do that. And you could just do it all from OBS, and you wouldn't have to have two apps running, and that would be a lot less stress on your computer. For me, uh, it's pretty important that I am doing both simultaneously. It's the whole reason for me to ha have jumped into this. So your mileage may vary on that. Your mileage will probably vary on that. One final thing that's worth mentioning is that there's no way, either through Yellow Duck, because it doesn't really have any sort of monitoring, uh, or through a browser that I found, that you can actually monitor the Instagram live feed in real time. If I had my account, any of my accounts that I'm that uh, use the same address uh, up, it would not show me the live stream. There was no way for me to do it, so I actually had to create a new Instagram account, uh, follow myself, yeah, be on that account and then uh, watch the live stream the same way anybody else would in order to see the comments in real time and just have that uh, handy. So I suppose you might, you might be able to do that on, uh, on your browser, on your machine as well, as if, if you were logged in as that, uh, as that tertiary or secondary or whatever uh, account. But that's worth keeping in mind uh, depending on exactly what you're doing. For me and for the stuff that I'm doing, I would probably be watching uh, – 
on YouTube or Facebook. I'll be watching those comments in real time more, more so than Instagram Live. But depending on what you do, depending on where your followers are and all that good stuff, you just need to keep that in mind. Um, yeah. Best of luck with everything, and uh, thanks for watching.